Welcome to Red Recaps. We'll be looking at a renowned fantasy adventure movie, The Golden Compass. Enjoy yourself as we watch this intriguing film. Now, let's get going. The story begins in a mythical world where people's souls are in animal forms called demons. Adult demons can't alter the shape, while children's can. We observe Lord Azriel walking with his snow leopard demon, Stomaria. There are several planets connected by dust. A girl named Lyra, Balakwa, makes a mud ball while her demon Pan sits on her shoulder. A boy named Billy chases Roger. Lyra and Roger run across town with other children. She informs the others that they can't enter the college because the doors are cursed. Now Lyra and Pan enter a big hall. So Master and Fra Pavel approach. So they hide in a cupboard to watch. When the master leaves, Lyra sees Pavel putting powder in a wine bottle. Before Lyra and Pan leave, Stelmaria, Azriel, and Hunt enter. Azriel pours a glass of wine after Hunt leaves, but Lyra stops him before he can consume it. Azriel, her uncle, asks if she saw a magisterium man put the powder in the carafe. As others arrive, he tells Lyra to hurriedly hide. Azriel gives the men a projected image of a man and his demon after they're seated. He says it's from Svalbard, the Ice Bear Kingdom. He says it's dust from the sky, entering the man's body through his demon. He says it's from an invisible world. Fra Pavel from the Magisterium dislikes Azriel, and Azriel dislikes him too. Azriel informs the college board that he plans to research Svalbard if he has the money. Azriel scolds Lyra outside for hiding in a closet. He tells her not to say dust when she speaks about it to him. Lyra and Roger are discussing gobblers on the college roof. Mrs. Lonsdale calls Lyra from a window. Mrs. Coulter walks into a large hall full of instructors and pupils and tells Lyra she met Ragnar Storlison. Mrs. Coulter's dog holds Pan. Mrs. Coulter wants Lyra as an assistant when she returns north. Then, she requests the master to borrow Lyra. Outside in a tiny alley, Billy and Roger are walking and talking. Billy's demon Ratter climbs the wall, but the monkey catches him. The magisterial emissary, the first and second high counselors, plan against Azrael in a dark room. The next day, the master gives Lyra a golden compass and tells her not to tell Mrs. Coulter about it. Outside, Mrs. Coulter is set to leave on an airship for the city, and Lyra wants to say farewell to Roger, but he's missing. They arrive in the city and take a weird car to Mrs. Coulter's residence. When Lyra is alone in her chamber with Pan, she doesn't comprehend how the golden compass works. One evening, they argue about Lyra's shoulder bag. Lyra's mother informs her she can't wear it in the house and sends her to her room. Lyra's mad. They search Mrs. Coulter's office and find what looks like a list of children. Mrs. Coulter may be connected to the gobblers. Before Pan can return to her chamber, Mrs. Coulter finds her upstairs and she realizes the monkey isn't there. Lyra finds the monkey looking at the compass in her room. Then Pan changes into an eagle and snatches the compass from the monkey, and he calls Lyra over. They flee through a dark street. Three men corner Lyra in a warehouse. She ducks through a door, and a net falls over her. She is saved by Ma Costa, Billy's mother, and a gang of Egyptians. Lyra meets Lord Fa, the Egyptian king, on a magnificent sailing ship. Farder Koram, Lord Fa, asks whether she's forgotten anything. Farder Koram teaches how to use the golden compass, but he can't. Lyra focuses on the compass and sees pictures of where the missing children may have been taken. We see a guarded facility with many children, as in a school. A woman asks Billy to write to his mother, but he doesn't want to write the lies they're feeding him. Pavel and Mrs. Coulter walk the magisterium grounds. She tells Pavel that Lyra possesses the golden compass, but can't use it. Mrs. Coulter's aide gives her a box containing two metallic drone-like insects that can locate Lyra. They leave. Azriel walks through snow-capped mountains in the far north. 
Samoyed natives attack him. He and Stelmaria try to escape but are captured. Samoyed men have wolf demons. Lyra is looking at the golden compass when two drone insects appear. Lyra drops the compass as one fights Pan. One tries to take the compass while the other attacks Lyra, but she ducks and hits it with a stick. Farder Koram catches the last one. Lord Fa promises to punish the gobblers. Lyra and Pan are on deck at night when a woman appears. She's a witch named Serafina Pakala. Kaisa, her demon, is absent. She tells Lyra the children are in Bolvangar, guarded by Tartars with wolf demons. Lyra will find aid at Trollesund, Norway. Serafina flies away. Lyra encounters Lee Scoresby and his demon Hester the next day at Trollesund. He tells Lyra he's helping an armored bear named Lorik Birnason. Scoresby says Lorik can aid her with her mission. She searches for Lorik Birnason. Lyra and Coram find Lorik behind Narsen's tavern and offer him work, but he says he's working for the townspeople. Lyra finds out that he's compensated in whiskey. Fantastic! A drunk bear! Lyra is disappointed in Lorik, but he says the townspeople drank him to sleep. Ice bears can't fight or go to war without armor. He was exiled from Svelbard. After losing a bear fight, Lyra glances at the compass and sees that Lorik, a prince, has lost everything. She tells him where his armor is. He asks her name, then joins her campaign. Then he rushes to Trollesund to reclaim his armor with Lyra and Pan. Outside the office, armed troops are waiting for Lorik to arrive. Lorik, in armor, breaks through the wall by the door, growling at everyone. Scoresby puts a gun to the captain's head and warns him not to fire. The Magisterian Emissary tells Pavel the Egyptians are headed to Balvangar and must be stopped. Pavel's emissary sends Mrs. Coulter to find Lyra. Mrs. Coulter's airship travels north. Lyra, Scoresby, and Lorik are traveling north with the Egyptians. They camp overnight in Samoyed territory. Lyra observes a small cabin in the next valley while looking at the compass. She asks Lorik to accompany her to the cabin. Hundreds of witches fly above them. Lyra enters the cabin alone. She's terrified to find Billy under a cover. He lost his demon. Lyra calls the demon's removal intercision. Lyra takes Billy back to camp on Lorik's back. Makasta is happy to have her son back. The Samoyed guys suddenly attack them. The Egyptians, Scoresby, and Lorik are fighting them back. Some Samoyed warriors grab Lyra. They take her to Svialbard. Scoresby and Lorik fly to Svialbard to rescue Lyra. Lyra tells Ragnar she is Lorik's demon, and if he wants her, he must face Lorik alone. Lorik approaches Svialbard, and Lyra watches as Ragnar prepares for battle. Lyra informs Lorik about Ragnar. Lorik's glad to fight Ragnar again. Lorik is losing when he stares at Lyra. He comes back stronger, defeating Ragnar. Lorik is now the Ice Bear King. Lyra takes Lorik to Bolvangar. They reach a shaky ice bridge at 119.54. Lorik waits as Lyra crosses alone. She runs across a collapsing bridge, and Lorik asks her to wait for him. Lyra doesn't wait. As Lyra approaches, a man unlocks the door and tells her to come inside. She enters under a false name. He takes her to the children's dining room. There she finds Roger and tells him about her plan to save the children. He shows her a private room. Mrs. Coulter's airship arrives, and she and some servants enter Lyra's room. Mrs. Coulter informs them Lord Asriel bribed his captors and set up a lab in the far north, but soldiers are on their way. Then she leaves, but the staff capture Lyra. They place her in the interception chamber. Mrs. Coulter stops the machine before it can be used. Lyra wakes up close to Pan. Mrs. Coulter is glad Lyra is okay. Mrs. Coulter reassures Lyra with a story. Mrs. Coulter is Lyra's mother, and the Lord Azrael is her father. Mrs. Coulter asked Lyra for the compass, and she offered her the tin with the drone insect instead of the compass. When the tin is opened, Mrs. Coulter is stung and falls to the floor. Lyra flees. She destroys the interception room. All the children run outside with Lyra. 
but the Tartar Regiment's wolf demons stop them. Lorik kills the wolf, their captain ordered to attack Lyra. The children escape the Tartar soldiers. Serafina kills the captain as he prepares to strike Lyra with his sword. All the witches helped Lyra and the children. Lorik is tied down with hooks after hard combat. The Egyptians join the battle. Scoresby arrives and shoots Lorik's attackers. Lorik escapes when he shoots some ropes. Lorik stands and growls after the battle. Families reunite with their children. Fa admires Lyra. Lyra and Roger board Scoresby's airship with Lorik and Serafina to save Lord Azriel. Lyra promises Roger they'll sort out a few future issues while they fly through the night. What are your thoughts about this movie? Leave a comment down below and let us know what you think about the movie. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of our videos. If you liked this movie, you can watch it in the links down below. Thanks for watching Red Recaps. See you in the next video.